Magis 26.3 is released and with this new update, there's a major change in this latest Magis version. The version 26.2 beta version was released just few days ago. I've shared that, that video on my Hindi channel already. But with this new update, which is a stable version, let me talk about that as quickly as possible. As you can see, select and patch a file and I have selected the ROM zip file instead of the boot image and you can see there is no error. This is one of the major changes with Magis 26.3 latest version. The thing was same with Magis 26.2 but that was beta version and now it's available in stable version. Now you do not have to simply use the boot image for that particular custom ROM to root your device. In this case, you can simply select the ROM zip file. Select the ROM zip file, it will automatically extract the boot image and done. After that, move on to your custom recovery. If you have, because of course, without custom recovery, this thing will not be possible. So make sure you have custom recovery available. In this case, I'm using Orange Fox custom recovery. If you're using TWRP or any other, it's totally up to you, but you can choose any custom recovery if you want to. In my case, I'm using Orange Fox custom recovery. As I just mentioned, this thing is present with Magis 26.2 also, but that was beta version. So if you want to root your device and want to install stable version 26.3 while making this video, this could be the latest version. We just patched the boot image at the starting of the video. So moving on to this, simply select the boot partition in this case, which is in my case, if you are using dynamic partition device, most probably things will be same like this one. After selecting the boot image, it's done. It will simply flash reboot system and my device is now rooted. Things to note as if your device is not having the bootloader unlocked, this thing will not work for you. Secondly, make sure you're using, make sure you're using any custom recovery could be TWRP, PBRP, Orange Fox could be any other custom recovery too. And then follow the steps on the screen. Things could be really same, almost same for almost every device. Doesn't matter which Android version you, use, you are using, I guess, Android 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, even 14, all the Android versions support this one. Moving on to the Magisk app, let me show you. My device is now rooted. With the Magis 26.1, the major change was whenever you flash directly Magis from Custom Recovery. If you want to flash Magis from Custom Recovery, you can do that very easily, of course. After flashing from Custom Recovery, after flashing Magis from the Custom Recovery, what you have to do is open Magis and you have to reboot once again. I'll leave the link in the description for the previous Magis video if you want to root according to that. So from that tutorial, you can use that. But if you want to root your device according to this tutorial, you can do that. So both of the tutorials are available for you. So whichever you want to try out, you can. Let me show you by moving into a root checker for some of the users because in my previous video in Magis, I found some of the users like said that the device is not rooted. I am using fake, etc, etc. But let me just confirm with you because my device is now rooted. So after using this root checker, verify root, granting the root permission, which is super user, it's a super user access to this app. As you can see, root access is properly installed. Let me show you one more thing as I'm using Lineage OS custom room. Doesn't matter which custom room you use. If you install Magisk on your device, most likely safety net will be broken. So as you can see, YAS and AC and open source app where you can check the safety net of your device. Open this apps, run safety net attestation. My device is now safe net. My device safe net status is now fail. I will not be able to use banking apps on my device anymore. So how you can fix that? Move on to Google Chrome, search for universal safety net fix by Displax. This is a universal safety net fix mod. You will be redirected to this page. Click on safety net fix. At the end, at the bottom, simply select this. The latest version could be anything. Select and download this file. The download downloaded zip file will be around 130 KB. So that is it. After doing all these things, moving on to the magic, move on to settings. Enable Jigesk and force denialist if you want to. It's optional, but Jigesk enable is necessary. After that, select that zip file, which is safety net fix zip file. Click on OK. After installing, reboot your device. And after reboot, if you open YAS and AC, which is basically a safety net checker app, safety net is passed. This is so amazing. This was a tutorial about Magisk latest version how the things are going on and everything i think so you got this and i hope you like this video make sure to like this and i will see you in the next one goodbye